All right, let's finish uh, the Cleveland at Pittsburgh week one uh, game. Uh, it is halftime. Uh, the first half is on the channel already. You'll be able to find that uh, literally next to this one. Um, it's halftime. Pittsburgh scored in the final two minutes of the first half. A touchdown, uh, Merrill Hoge, a four-yard run. Touchdown, PAT good. Made it 7-6, to six. Pittsburgh at home against Cleveland. And now we're going to kick off to Cleveland to start the second half. And here we go, 16. Anderson kicking off. 16 is going to be P uh, 7. 7 on the kickoff is going to be the 6-yard line. All right, so here we go, Cleveland with a very dangerous Eric Metcalf returning kickoffs. 55, holy cow, got real dangerous real quick. 8, 33 yards out to the 39. And there it is, folks. Cleveland had everything. They had a quarterback, check. They had backs, check. They had a Hall of Fame tight end, check. They had solid uh, three receivers, check, check. They had a fantastic group of special teams players, check. They had a defense, check. I'm not certain how this team didn't find themselves in a Super Bowl at some point during that five-year run. But right now, they're down by one to Pittsburgh. So, hey, uh, they can't even win this game right now. So let's get it. Uh-oh, Bernie drops back sets. He's going to be throwing the ball. Bernie versus a standard defense, so it's going to be a 62. We're passing to Langhorn. 62 from Bernie is 18. It's incomplete. Wow. So Bernie now has had one, two, three, four, five incomplete passes in a row. All right, here we go. Second down sets it up. It's going to be run versus us, um, standard. We're going to hand this off to Eric Metcalf, 35. 35 is 17. Metcalf's going to get something here. Eight plus one is nine yards, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to be third and one. Third and one at uh, Metcalf with a pretty good day thus far. All right, Bernie and company come out. Pittsburgh on their feet, fans cheering. They got the terrible towels going, and it's going to be a run versus run. 66 is going to be Eric Metcalf going to get a breakaway here. Eric Metcalf off to the races. 64 is 15. Metcalf's going to get pick up. Uh, 16 yards, that's 2, 10, and 4, 16 down to the 36 of um, Pittsburgh, and that's where I expect Cleveland to win this game. They're just going to slowly wear down this Pittsburgh defense and start getting plays, but we'll see. Down by 1 currently, start of the th uh, second half. Run versus pass, 15, it's going to be Mac with 8, 8, Mac's going to rumble for Seven yards. Holy cow, they're getting everything going now. Second and three. Mack with a seven-yard rip. Oh, if they get this running game going, watch out. Pass versus run. They got him thinking run. Bernie drops back, sets his feet. He's looking over the defense, looking for Ozzie Newsom. 43. 43 is 29. He's going to go down again. Four-yard loss. This is what's killing him. One, two, three, four. He goes down in a heap. Sack minus four, and that sack is going to come from none other than 22. It's going to be the high man. You know who that is. I believe that's going to be from Pittsburgh. I believe that's going to be Greg Lloyd. It is, uh, yep, Greg Lloyd is going to get that sack. Absolutely. So Lloyd collects the sack. That is going to be Little and Lloyd both have sacks. All right. Holy cow. That's going to make it third now, and... Oh, uh, one, oh man, three, th six, third and six, third and six. Bernie has been one, two, three, four, five, zero oh for five in a sack in his last six attempts. Just not good. This Pittsburgh team not letting Bernie throw. It's going to be a pass versus uh, run. Pass for, let me double check. Uh, pass versus run. Yep. Pass versus run. We're going to uh, slaughter. Oh, 11, three. Slaughter's going to catch this. For 41 yards, and that's a touchdown. So Bernie finds though slaughter for 33, 33-yard 33 TD to West, uh, Webster Slaughter. And just like that, Bernie breaks him after a great defense for the last six attempts. Kozar, boy, I loved Kozar back in the day. Accurate, smart. He just he wasn't very mobile. He had a kind of awkward stance. Remember, he lined up kind of weird under center. Just, he was kind of an awkward, ugly duckling, I guess you could call him. Kozar, 33-yard TD pass 
to slaughter. Extra point. That's what the uh, fans here did not want to see. You can imagine the Pittsburgh fans with a groan. But they knew they couldn't contain them all day long. 31, you're going to give up some points to great teams. 31 is going to be 5. 5 is good, I think. Yep, 5 is good, P-A-T. And folks, it's 13-7. to seven, And Cleveland desperately needed that. They needed to prove that their offense is the offense to contend with here. 30-17 uh, is the kickoff. Touchback. So again, they keep Rod uh, Woodson from getting a return here. And we're going to see Bubby Brister and company back on the field for Pittsburgh. And that was a great, great drive. They needed that desperately. 33 RTD pass to Webster Slaughter. Here we go. Oh, let me fish out my quarterback and backs. All right, here we go. Bubby Brister with Worley and Hodge. Merrill Hodge. Hodge. Here we go. Let's find out what they're going to do. Pittsburgh's going to pass. No, they run. Run versus pass. So they caught him in the wrong defense. 36 for Worley. Oh, uh, 36 is 24. It's two yards. One, two. Poor Worley, man. He just, the best carry he's had all day is a nine-yard carry. Not horrible, but man, I'd like to see him get up there about a three or four-yard average. It's going to be run versus pass again. Got him. It's going to be Worley again. Exactly the same. Two more. One, two, third down. So Worley really is averaging about three yards of carry total for the game. Bubby Brister, we're going to go ahead and sub out Worley for a guy named Rodney Carter from Purdue. Uh, solid here in the receiving department. Snaps the ball. It's going to be run versus, uh, whoops, run versus run, I think. Uh, yep, run, run. So the right defense, we're going to run Merrill Hawes, 63, 63 is 13, 13, 6, minus Six minus one is going to be uh, come on, minus two. It's going to be four yards. One, two, three, four. It's fourth down. And dang it, poor Merrill Hodge. Four yards. It's fourth and one, two. Fourth and two. Does Pittsburgh go for it here? I don't think so, folks. I don't think so. I think that's, that's asking for trouble. It's asking for trouble. So we're going to punt the ball. Again, it's only a six-point game. No reason to panic. 31. 31 is 6. Good punt. 46 yards. I'll say 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 4. And it's fielded again by a very dangerous Gerald McNeil. 5'7, 145 pounds out of Baylor. Right? 41. Built to do just this right here. 41 is 27. Fair catch. But he's a safe player. That's like his third fair catch today as Gerald McNeil is just not going to do anything dangerous with the football. And that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing if you're on the road in Pittsburgh in week one of the regular season. Punt. All right, Cleveland back to work. Bernie Kosar, last game, uh, last possession, finally breaks a streak of bad, uh, streak of bad plays. Six incompletions in a row and a sack. Then he, then he lights it up with a 33-yard touchdown pass to Webster Slaughter. And that is what you do. Great quarterbacks, you can um, you can only hope to contain them. Right? Good quarterbacks will eventually get theirs. All right, snaps the ball. It's going to be run versus pass. Got him in the right D. It's going to be 63 for uh, Mac. Mac goes for 35. 35 is four, five yards. Beautiful, big Mac, 224-pound beast out of Clemson. That's going to be five yards, second and five. Bernie Kozar is getting the running game going this half. Yep, run versus standard. It's going to be 12. That's going to be Bernie, uh, Kevin again. 12 is 27. That ain't good. Nowhere. One yard, though, for the wrong defense. Third down. So Mac back-to-back. Three-yard average in the last two carries. It's going to be pass versus run. They got him. 22. He's going to light him up to uh, Metcalf out of the backfield. 22 is 5. Eric Metcalf out of the backfield goes for 9. 22 yards. Uh, 3, 10, and 19 is 22, out to the 44, and now Bernie Kozar is getting it going. 22-yard pass to Eric Metcalf, and he was a great back boy, very dangerous. Snaps the ball, it's going to be pass versus pass. 61, we're looking for Ozzy Newsome. whoops, wrong guy, 61 is 12, Ozzy's going to catch this for 4 yards, 1, 2, 3, 4, so Ozzy, 4 yards, 
Oz. So Oz has caught a 19-yarder today and a 4-yarder. That's okay. We'll take it second and six. Cleveland's starting to look like the team I expected them to be. Methodical, moving the ball, scoring points. And I think it just took them the first half to figure out this defense. It's going to be run versus run. 65 for Eric Metcalf is 24. Nowhere. Matter of fact, it's going to be a loss of one. Damn, third down. That's not good. Third and seven. Eric Metcalf with a... That's his first running loss of the day. So he's been consistently good. It's going to be run versus run again. Not good. But it's going to be Mac with a four. Four for Mac is nine. Right defense minus two. Seven yards and a first down on the button. Actually got it by one. First down. Holy cow. Mac on a third down run. Seven yards. Beautiful. If that had been Metcalf, folks, that would have been two. That would have been a 50-yard, 42-yard run. Okay, it's going to be run versus run again, and it's 53. This will be Metcalf. 53 is 19. Metcalf's going for uh, nowhere. Nowhere. Metcalf. So he's had a negative one-yard run and a run for nothing the last two carries. We may sub out Metcalf and bring in the man. Let's bring out Metcalf. Let's bring in Barry Redden. Barry Redden. He's the big Richmond back. 210 pounds. Barry Redden went on to play for the Rams. Uh, actually, he may have come from the Rams. I can't remember if he went to the Rams or came from the Rams, but he, he, he had a pretty good uh, run there with the Rams. I think it's the same guy. Could be wrong. It's going to be pass versus pass. We're looking for um, uh, uh, Reggie Langhorn. 16. 16 is 20. Incomplete. Third down. Uh-oh. Here we go. They're starting to slow down as Pittsburgh's made adjustments. Third down and 11. Uh, no, third and 10. We're going to have to bring Metcalf back in. As we need to pass the ball, if we're going to pass, we're passing the Metcalf. Yeah, it's going to be pass versus standard. 42. Come on, Bernie. 42 is 9. He's going to be a catch for 15 standard uh, to Metcalf. 11 and 4. First down at the 21. 15 yards to Eric Metcalf. And what are you going to do? Cleveland is marching. This Pittsburgh defense can't figure out the code. Uh, can't figure out the code for this team uh, in the second half, second quarter. Here we go. It's going to be pass versus standard, 43. 43 is 29. 29 is another sack, loss of four. Wow. Just like that, Bernie goes down again. Sack minus four. Again, he was not a mobile guy. And who gets this sack? 66 is going to be the eighth highest guy. Holy cow, I don't think there's eight starting so I may have to go to the bench for this that's one two three four five six uh seven yep eight so it's going to be Carnell Lake Lake with a sack so we've had Little Lloyd and Lake all get sacks for Pittsburgh that's pretty cool okay it's second down and long second and 14 I'm leaving Redden in. We're going to run Redden if this is a run. No, it's going to be a pass. Pass versus standard. 65. This one is to Ozzie Newsom. 65 is 18. Incomplete. Third down. Hmm. Ozzie just can't get open versus Lloyd. Okay. At this point, I think I have to go Metcalf. We're going to run Metcalf. If it's a run, it's Metcalf. If it's a pass, it is to uh, uh, Reggie Lahorn. Pass versus pass. 56. Is 20 incomplete, and it's fourth down. Boy, they had a good drive going and finally stalled out. They're going to trot out the man, though, and they're going to try to add another field goal to this lead. Barr has had a good day so far. 36 for Barr. 36 for Barr is 7. 7 is going to be good. It is good. And 25 and 17 is 42 yards. So Barr with a 42-yard field goal, and it's going to be 16 to 7 now. And that gives a nice cushion. Is this going to force a three-possession game for Pittsburgh? And Barr's third successful kick of the day. So Barr is really getting the job done. 66 on the kickoff is 38 to the 40-yard line. And Rod Woodson's going to get the shot. Uh, where's Rod? Here we go from Purdue. There's some Purdue guys in here. 26. 26 is... 18, and it's 27 yards out to the 31, Rod Woodson. And that's that's something to be proud of. We got to like anything you get beyond the 25 is a very good return. All right, good job, Kozar and Co. They came away with three, gives them pads. 
really gives them a cushion now. Uh, when it comes when a game's based on possessions, you start looking at going, okay, we're down by two scores. Technically, they're down by yeah, they're down by two scores, and they only have one, two, three possessions left in the entire game. So now we're starting to think about going for it, right? Here we go. Or they need to get a defensive score, or they need to get Rod Woodson to do something, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Here we go. Bubby Brister needs a touchdown drive. It's going to be a run versus pass. Twelve. Uh, Hoj, uh, Hodge is twenty-seven. Is one yard thanks to the defense. So Hodge gets a one-yard run. Second down. They got to do better than that if they're going to score here. It's going to be run versus run. Sixty-five to Worley. 65 is 24. 24 is going to be a loss of one. They lose what they got. It's third and 10. Dang it. Worley just cannot get one out. All right. Here we go. It's going to be run versus pass. 65 again. This is Merrill Hodge. is 24. It's going to be a two-yard gain. One, two. Fourth down. I don't know if going for it here is wise, but they need... They're down by two scores. They have three possessions remaining. There is a chance, of course, Cleveland could turn it over or there's a punt return or something like that. If we go for it, it could, it could, it could mess up the uh, chances. But then there's only two possessions left for Pittsburgh the remainder of the game. Yeah, we got a punt. It's third quarter. No matter how you cut it, it is the third quarter. And, uh, right, our end of the third quarter, 56. 56 is 8. 8 is going to be 46. Uh, 8 is 43. 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 1. And again, if the, if any of these guys break one open, that's it. I think Pittsburgh's done if McGill breaks one open here. 43. 43 is 28. That's going to be a fair catch, I believe. Yep, fair catch. So again, McNeil is not doing anything risky with the ball on the road against Pittsburgh. That's a wise decision as they've got Pittsburgh's number right now. There we go. All right, punt, and we start the fourth quarter. There was a Kozar through for a touchdown. And Barr got a six. We got 10 points in that quarter, and Pittsburgh was shut out in the third. All right, they cannot have that. They cannot have that. Here we go. Cleveland with the ball on their own 24. We've got Kozar, Mack, and we're going to bring bringing in Redden now, and I may be bringing in Tim Manoa from Penn State as well. I'm going to bring in Brennan for Langhorn. We need that guy that had good hands, that could run great routes, is Brian Brennan from Boston College. We're going to bring in Manoa, and we're going to see what we can do with these guys here. All right? Okay. So that's the ball. It's going to be a pass versus pass, 34. We're going to go for Brennan. 34 is 35, incomplete, second down. Again, but Bernie trying to loosen this defense up maybe. Here we go, second down. It's going to be, oh, pass versus run. They caught him in the wrong D, 14. We're looking for Ozzie Newsom. 14 is 35, incomplete. 14 is just not a good a number, uh, right? You don't want 14, generally. Third down, what are they going to do? It's going to be pass versus pass, 35. We're looking for, um, again, Brian Brennan. 35 is 8. Nice. He's going to catch it for 3. Right defense is going to be uh, 13, uh, 13 minus 4. It's going to be 9 yards. That's 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's going to make it 4th and 1. Uh, that was a 9-yard pass to Brennan. 9 to Brian Brennan. And they're going to have to punt. But that was nice. He almost got it. Brian Brennan comes up just a little short. And now we're going to punt with Brian Wagner, 43. 43 on the punt is going to be 33. 33 is, oh, no, 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 you're, you're kidding me. 43, punt K is 33. Six, minus six and a fumble. So he fumbles, the, the punt is snapped high. He jumps for it, bats the ball. They lose six yards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pittsburgh fans on their feet. Uh, 65, the fumbles were covered by D1. Keith Willis of Pittsburgh scoops it up. 31 is 21. That could be huge. It's going to be a six-yard return, and they have the ball at the 20. This is why I didn't go for it, because you never know. Just like that, we got a... Uh, we actually have a punt. Oh, actually, it is just... It's a fumble lost. 
by the punter, Wagner, as he could not field that high snap. Recovered by the defense, uh, Willis. And folks, we're, they're, Pittsburgh's in the game. They've got only two possessions left. They must score twice to take the lead. And they've just given themselves the ball at the 21-yard line. Holy cow. That's what I get for Bench and Mack and, uh, and Metcalf. However, they didn't uh, run at all on that. Those were all, I think all three of those were passes. So we're going to have to get, we're going to have to bring uh, uh, the guys back in as all of a sudden it's looking a little dangerous here. Okay, from the 21, they need a touchdown to make it interesting. And then they got one possession left to get something more. And of course, uh, uh, Cleveland has two more possessions, right? Here we go. Bobby Brister, it's going to be run versus pass. So he's handing it off. He's handing this off to uh, Merrill Hodge. 14, again, I remember 14 is not a good number, but here it's 4, wrong D is 5, so Merrill Hodge gets down 2nd and 5 to the 16-yard line. Merrill Hodge looking good. Wow, very nice. Come on, Pittsburgh, make this a ball game, man. This is great. Suh, play action versus pass. Bubby Brister looking for Louis Lips, who's caught a touchdown today. We're looking for Louis. It's going to be 12. 12 is 28. 28 is going to be a loss of two sack. One, two, third down. That's a killer. Brister goes down for the third time himself. Sack minus two. Who gets this sack? It's going to be 11. That's going to be sacked by high. Well, we know who that is. It's Al Baker. So Baker gets his second. That's two for Baker. Gee, many Christmas. And it is third and um, seven. Third and seven. Wow. We're going to take out um, Whirly, and we're going to bring in Rodney Carter. And we're going to pass the ball. If it's a pass, we're going to Rodney Carter. Let's put it that way. Okay, it's going to be a run. No, he's handing it off. We're handing it off to Rodney Carter versus pass. 44. Rodney Carter's going to get a big run on his first carry. 17. Eight. Plus one, nine yards and a first down. Holy cow, down to the nine-yard line. First and goal at the nine. Rodney Carter with a nine-yard run, his first and only carry of the day. If we bring in Worley back. I might leave Carter in with a carry like that. Let's go ahead and leave in the speedy 218-pound six-foot back from Purdue. Bobby, Bobby Brister and co. may get a score here. It's going to be run versus run. 62 to Carter. is 22. 22 is two. Minus two is nowhere. Second down. Carter stuck on that one. Here we go. They desperately need to score a touchdown. The game becomes much more interesting. It's going to be pass versus pass. So it's a play action rollout. He's looking for Malarkey. 22. I think it's going to be a touchdown pass to Malarkey. Four. Four is touchdown to Malarkey. Holy cow. That is a nine yard pass. TD to Mike Malarkey. The tight end, the big tight end. So Brister. Nine yard TD pass to Malarkey. Holy cow, beautiful drive. They capitalize on the fumbled punt. Gary Anderson trying to make up for a missed chip shot field goal, which would put them really in the game here. Uh, 65 is 20. Uh, 20 is... Ah, good. And that's a POT, technically, folks. Uh, the punt, POT, point of turnover. It is 16 to uh, 14. Dang, what a game. Bubby Brister has brought the Pittsburgh Steelers at home to within two points of beating an arch rival on opening weekend. Holy cow. Here we go. They only have one more possession, though, and Cleveland's got two more. So the odds are in Cleveland's favor. They're going to win this. 46. 46 is two. Boom. Kicks it to the three. However, they really don't want to do that because the man back there is Eric Metcalf, and the reality is he could, he can return a touchdown. 43 is 31. 31 is 26 yards. He's out to the 29-yard line is Eric Metcalf, and he was one step away from Shake and Bake, making a change in the outcome of this game again, further change. All right, so we're going to go back, the Mac and Metcalf back in the ball game. probably shouldn't have subbed those guys out, however... The backs weren't involved much in that last series. Brister with a nine yard. That's Brister's second touchdown pass today, is it not? 
Oh no, Merrill Hodge had their other touchdown. A run play up the gut. All right, here we go. It's going to be a pass versus run, 56. Bernie looking for Ozzie Newsome, 56 is 20, incomplete. Second down. I tell you, Bernie's had some real strings of incomplete passes here. So, But, you know, you can't complete what you don't pass. Here we go. It's going to be a pass again versus run. They caught him in the wrong defense. We're looking for Webster Slaughter. 64 is 9. Slaughter's going to catch a nice pass here for 15 plus 3 with the wrong defense. 18 yards, 11 and 7 is first down at the 40. Seven yard line. Uh, da, 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 da. What did I say? I said that was, uh, so, yes, 18 yards to Webster Slaughter, who's had a fantastic day. Pittsburgh fans didn't like that. It's going to be pass versus pass. Wrong defense. We're going for Ozzie Newsome. 44. Ozzie's going to have a big catch. Six. Six is 16. Minus four is 12 yards. But Ozzie gets eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 out to the 41. Of Pittsburgh and Ozzie Newsom with a 12 yard pass. Holy cow, Bernie's getting hot now. That's two in a row. Snap, it's going to be pass versus run. Got him again. We're going for Eric Metcalf out of the backfield. 63, 63 is 31. Uh oh, 31 is incomplete. Second down. I thought that might be a fumble there for a minute. Wow, Bernie's having a great day. Snaps the ball. It's going to be run versus run. 35 for Kevin Mack. 35. He lowers his head. 8. It's going to be a, a slam banger here. Six minus two is four yards. And Matt gets a four-yard carry. Matt has just not had many touches today. Uh, third down, we're going to uh, pass versus pass. 53, looking for uh, Brian Brennan. 53, 53 is nine. Brian Brennan is going to make the catch for 11 and a first down. Two, four. Holy cow, down to the 26. 11-yard pass to Brian Brennan. Bernie is getting it done. One more score, and this is pretty much over. Snaps the ball. It's going to be pass versus run. So, again, play action. Bernie's. He fakes one to uh, Mack up the gut. Going for Metcalf. 34 is 35. Incomplete second down. I'm actually going to run out of paper here. Bernie's had it like 30 or 40 passes here. Snaps the ball. It's going to be pass versus uh, safe. 34, 35, incomplete. So Bernie with two incomplete passes in a row. It's third down and 10. They may have to settle for another field goal. If we run, we're going to Metcalf. If we pass, we're going to Metcalf. Pass to Metcalf on a play action. They're in the wrong D. 34 is 35, incomplete again. Three 34s in a row. And that's, an in, that's another incomplete pass for Bernie. We are now in a second column for Bernie. Fourth down. And yes, we got a two-point lead. So a field goal... Makes them score seven to beat us. So we are going to kick this field goal with a man who's been very, very good today. Matt Barr trots out. 23. 23 is 22. 22 is good. So Matt Barr, 26. So Barr, 36-43 yard field goal. And it makes it 19 to 14. And folks, uh, that that forces Pittsburgh on their final possession to score seven to take the lead. If not, Cleveland in the on the final possession can pretty much eat the clock. It's going to be 63. 63 is 32. Kickoff is seven yard line. What they need is Rod Woodson to break this game open. So you know, Rod scores on a 66. Rod can score on a 66. Uh, does he have a two? He does not have a two. Yeah, there's a touchdown on 13. Does he have a 13? He does not. So basically, he can score on a 66, folks. So hold your breath, Pittsburgh fans, as Rod fills us at the 7. And 45. 45 is 12. It's going to be a return of 19 out to the 26-yard line for Pittsburgh. Bubby Brister looking at the clock, eyeballing. It says about three minutes up there on the board. Right as he comes out, he knows they are in their three minute offense and they must get seven to secure the lead and leave uh, Cleveland with a two minute drive. All right, Bubby, what are you going to do, buddy? And we're going to leave all these starters in. Snaps the ball. It's going to be a run versus pass 44. It's going to be Tim Worley on a 44. 44 for Tim is 16. 16 is 12 yards, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Out to the 38-yard line. Tim Worley, beautiful carry there, buddy. That's his biggest carry of the day, 12 yards. 
They can do that all the way down the field. Snaps the ball. It's going to be pass versus pass. 45, looking for Louis Lips. 45 is 16. 16 is 4 yards, minus 4. Caught, but for nothing. So 0 for Louis Lips. He gets credit for the catch, but gets buried by hand, uh, Minifield. Minifield comes up and wrestles him down for nothing. It's going to be run versus run. 63 to Tim Worley. Tim Worley is 34. 34 is going to be a fumble. Loss of two. Loss of three. Or four, excuse me. Holy cow. Ball is loose. Worley has fumbled the game away right there. 21. D1 scoops it up. Al Baker. So Worley with a minus four yard fumble lost. Baker scoops it up. 44. Baker may be off to the races. 18 is 23 yards. Holy cow. Nine. 19 and 4 down to the 11. Al Baker with a huge fumble return. That's sad right there. So Pittsburgh, we have Worley. Fumble lost. Baker recovers. 23 yard return. Jeez, that's beautiful. And Cleveland takes the ball. And all they have to do, remember, all they have to do is complete, uh, get a first down to end the game, or of course they could score here, right? Uh, they will be forced on fourth down to punt or kick a field goal, right? It's uh, simulating that there would be seconds left on the clock they couldn't do anything about. So Bernie, ultimately, I have a feeling they're going to score a cheap touchdown here. They're at the 11, so all Bernie needs is uh, basically a little more than a first down to put another point on the board, and that's going to wrap it up. It's going to be a run versus... Uh, Oh, that's a pass. Pass. Pass versus standard. He's throwing to Metcalf out of the backfield. 22. Touchdown to Metcalf. 22 is 5. 5 is 19. Uh, wrong defense. It's a touchdown to Metcalf. So look at that. Kozar burns him on a 11-yard TD pass to Metcalf to wrap this game up. Game over. Extra point. It's academic, but we do it because we have to. 9-9 nine, nine is good. P-A-T, that is also points off turnover as they just fumbled the ball. That's going to make it 7. That's 26 to 14. Holy cow. And let me make sure I wrote down Bernie's touchdown pass. 11 to Eric Metcalf, TD. Woo, there it is, folks. Not bad. I might be able to tally these numbers. So let's see. A fumble by Wagner. Killed Cleveland on that first drive of the fourth. Brister throws a touchdown. So Brister makes it look interesting with a touchdown, but then Baker kicks a field goal, or Barr kicks a field goal, and Kozar throws a touchdown pass. Ten more again, and Worley fumbled the ball away there on that drive and uh, cost him dearly. So Cleveland with 10-26 to 14. Real life score was 51 to nothing Cleveland. Let's go ahead and grab my calculator and just see what Bernie did real quick. Um, because why not? So Bernie threw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26, 27, 28, 29 passes. That ain't right. So just 29. Wow, I thought he had at least 30 some passes. For 19, well, uh, let me get the completions here. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve of twenty-nine. Holy cow! Is that that's a rough, rough day for Bernie? Jeez, nineteen is how he opened the game up. Then he suffered an incompletion in a sack. Then he had a minus one completion. Then a sixteen-yard completion. 33-yard completion. Twenty-two-yard completion. Four-yard completion. Fifteen-yard completion. 9 yards, 18, 12, 11, and 11 in the TD. So, 100, so 12 of 29 for 169. He was sacked 1, 2, 3 times, no interceptions, and he threw 1, uh, looks like 2 TDs, no interceptions, no fumbles lost for Bernie Kozar. Not bad. Let's take a look at Metcalf. He had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 carries for 12, 14, 23, 
39, 44, 45, 44. 9 for 44. That's not bad for Eric Metcalf, right? That's pretty good. Mac was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. 6 for 12, 19, 23. 6 for 23 rushing. So that, they won, but uh, probably could have stood to get a little better production from their backs. And meanwhile, Bernie Kosar, uh, not, just not great. Um, that's it, right? So that's all the stats there for this possession game. Now, Bobby Brister and company had a lot of punts. Let's go ahead and tally what I got here. So Bubby threw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 attempts. Again, not a surprise as uh, Cleveland dominated the uh, time of possession. He completed uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of 12. So 50%, much better than Birdie. Unfortunately, though, not enough attempts. Just not enough attempts. That's what it is. And a touchdown pass. So 12 a 6 of 12 for 112 and a TD, no uh, turnovers yet, but he was sacked one, two, wow, he was sacked three times in uh, 15 drops backs. He went down three times. That is not good. Three divided by 15, that is a 20% sack rate. So Bubby Brister uh, under duress by Cleveland. I mean, that's a 20% sack rate. If he threw the ball 40 times, yeah, you can, you can imagine the math there. So... Okay, Worley with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 carries. Jeez, 3, 1, 3, 12, 18, 22, 21, 33, minus well, 29, 12 at 29 and a fumble lost for Worley. Not good. Merrill Hodge with 7, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18. 21, 21 yards and a TD. He had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carries and only eight carries. Carter, two carries for nine yards. No tie, no, uh, uh, what's his name? No, um, I've got him right here. No Terrell and no Wallace carries for Pittsburgh. So there you go. Not too bad, right? Again, um, turnovers. A fumble lost for Worley late. That's uh, sealed the deal. They were sacked three times, but more importantly, it's these uh, it's these punts. Pittsburgh punted one, two, three, four, five, five times and fumbled the ball away once. So you can see out of uh, what what is that? Uh, they've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine possessions. They had uh, five punts and a turnover, so that means they really only managed three good possessions. Also, um, Anderson missed a 26-yard chip shot field goal early in the second quarter. That would have made it uh, a little better here during the game. But uh, there it is, folks. That's game number nine completed. Bernie Kozar, not great. Again, he had a couple of streaks here. At one point, he, he completed only one... Eight. He completed one in eight attempts before hitting three in a row. Bang, bang, bang. And then he had another run, another streak of missing one, two, three, four, five out of six attempts. So he had a couple of streaks there where he just could not find open receivers. There you go. Thanks for watching. Everybody have a great day.